What you're about to learn in this short video will single-handedly win you dozens of doubles matches. Now, this footage is courtesy of the Hendy channel on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to their awesome channel. I've put their link in the description below. So let's watch the short point, and then we'll analyze it. All right, short point, right? You're like, what in the world could we learn from this? All right, what we are going to focus on, and really who we are going to focus on, is this player right here. He does a lot right. I'm going to make one suggestion that'll help him but and help you as the viewer, but boy, does this guy know what he's doing, and you've got to learn from this. All right, so here comes, oh wait, let, let's go backward. Here we go. Here's the serve. And one thing he does well is he looks to see if the serve is in, right? He's obviously looking to see. But watch how he looks back at his partner. I don't want him doing that. At this point, he should just be staring at the opposing net person because the opposing net person from this guy is going to tell him everything he needs to know about what his partner did. By looking back at his partner, he loses track of this guy. You don't want to do that. You always want to stare at this player when your partner is returning serve. But that is the only infraction we have here because from this point forward, it is nothing but brilliance. Okay, the reason the partner of the returner is on the line or near the service line is they're waiting to see what type of return is hit. Well, here we see a cross-court return. It's a really good return. It's like a higher return that can't be poached. That's smart. Smart return. It's like a high lob kind of cross-court return. Really good stuff. At this moment, it is critical that the returner's partner moves forward. So you have to think of this. Put yourself in this guy's position. When your partner returns cross-court back to the server, don't stay here anymore. You've got to attack. Now, Watch how he goes forward. In fact, he kind of backs up here like, uh-oh, this ball's going to get, I'm going to get hit. So he kind of backs up thinking this guy's going to hit it. And then he starts going forward. Watch, he starts attacking. Now, right here, we have to focus on the server. There's such a thing as an outside ground stroke and an inside ground stroke. Outside ground strokes are the ground strokes toward the outside of the court. <laughs> you get the, the idea here. Inside ground strokes are toward the inside of the court. Right, So this is obviously the center of the court. This is the outside of the court. Inside ground stroke, outside ground stroke. Outside ground strokes tend to be hit cross court a lot more often than they're hit down the line. So watch as the player here sees the server with an outside ground stroke and he's moving backward. Everything's saying defensive, right? He's moving backward. He's got an outside ground stroke. This ball is going cross court 93% of the time. I, I just made that up. But basically, I'm right. 93% of the time. It would be not smart for this guy to hit down the line. Down the line is an offensive shot. You don't want to hit offensive shots while moving backward. So this guy knows that. He knows the player is moving back. He knows it's an outside ground stroke. He's put that all together and he's realized, huh, this ball is going cross court. So watch him shoot across and he tries to poach this. Now, whether the server saw peripherally at the last second this guy make this move, we'll never know. But what we do know is that he shoots the gap here. He goes for the shot. He expects the ball to come right to him. And if he did, by the way, get the ball and the ball came, oops, let me get an arrow. And the ball came right to him. Guess where he's going? Right at this guy. That guy would have no time to react. He would have just kind of tattooed him right in the chest with that shot. But because he saw the ball go past the net guy, he attacked the net. He no longer needs to be on the service line, which is where he needs to be in case the ball goes to the net player. But since it goes to the baseliner, he attacks. He sees it's an outside ground stroke. And he pinches the center to try to cut off the cross-court shot. Now, here's one thing I would say, because an obvious and logical question might be written in the comment section. And somebody might be saying, hey, Ryan, what would happen if it was an inside ground stroke? An inside ground stroke is often pulled down the line. And I'll tell you this, inside ground strokes are hit down the line in doubles a lot more than outside ground strokes, especially when the right-hander is on the ad side or a lefty is on the deuce side because backhands tend to really get yanked cross court. 
I will say this. I'm gonna t- I'm gonna give this guy the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna say that if the ball had been an inside ground stroke, he would have just gone forward, covering in case the ball goes down the line. One thing it would be the forehand. That's going to be a strength. Maybe he's better at hitting on the rise. You can see how deep this ball lands. So maybe he's better at hitting on the rise with his forehand, but not so much on the backhand. He's like a little afraid to handle this on the rise with a backhand. We don't know. We'll never know. But if it's an inside ground stroke, I would tell this guy just to go forward and just stay in the middle of his box as he goes forward. But with it being an outside ground stroke and expecting a cross court, he shoots the gap, expects the ball to go to the middle. Yes, the ball is framed. Yes, he wins the point without ever having to hit the ball. But the fact that this guy knew to go forward and took all of that info into consideration and pinched the middle, he's going to win a ton of matches and we get to benefit from what we learned. Now, if you want to win more doubles matches, then definitely check out the new Rules of Doubles by Fuzzy Yellow Balls. Will Hamilton teams up with Craig O'Shaughnessy, the leading stats guy in the world for what's working on the Pro Tours and what's not, and he's sharing this info with you, the recreational player. To check out the new Rules of Doubles, just grab the Fuzzy Yellow Balls app in the description, or simply wait till the end of the video when a link will pop up on the screen. And if you're looking for people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, maybe you want to find a local league at your level, or you'd love to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link for Play Your Court. And it's playyourcourt.com slash two-minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. By the way, here is another point from that match. And you'll notice that here is an inside ground stroke. So this guy should just go forward. He shouldn't try to pinch, one, because this guy would get hit in the back of the head, but also inside ground strokes, wrong tool, inside ground strokes get yanked down the line all the time. And watch, that's exactly what happens. In fact, this guy misses and he's like, what in the world? What were you thinking? And he wants to like slam his racket against the ground. Buddy, we've all been there, so don't feel bad. But here's the idea. Inside ground strokes tend to be hit down the line more often. So if you're going to attack the net, hold the middle of the box. But outside ground strokes toward the outside of the court, they get yanked cross court. So that's when you're going to pinch the center. Apply these tips and there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.